Thank you for downloading and trying Stock Portfolio Organizer. In this video, I will show you how to get started with the Portfolio Manager so you can start adding and tracking your investments. This video will use the professional version of the program, but everything you see here is equally applicable to the standard version. When you first open up the application, you should be presented with the list of users window. Here you need to click New, then enter your name and choose a base currency for your portfolio. Stock Portfolio Organizer supports portfolios with mixed currencies. In certain circumstances, such as when you are viewing statistics for all trades in your portfolio, trades with a currency that is different to your user's base currency will be converted before any statistics are calculated. So once you have chosen a base currency, click Save to create the new user. If you are only going to have one user, then I suggest you make the newly created user the default user. This is done by selecting the user and clicking Make Default. What this will do is make Stock Portfolio Organizer skip showing the user's window on Startup and instead automatically open the default user. Now that we have our user created, we need to select that user and click Open. This is the main screen for Stock Portfolio Organizer. Before we can begin adding trades, we need to create a new account and a brokerage formula. To create an account, click Accounts in the main menu. Then click New. Next, to enter the name for the account, then select its currency. We will enter the name Comsec and the default currency we will leave. Then enter the initial balance. A lot of the time the initial balance is not known, but can be easily worked out by instead entering the current balance, followed by adding all the active trades. The resulting balance can then be used to work out what the initial balance was. Once you have filled out all the details, Click Save to create the account. To speed up data entry, you can make the account default by selecting it and clicking Make Default. That way, it will be selected by default when entering trades, dividends, etc. Next, we need to create a brokerage formula. To do this, open the Advanced tab in the main toolbar then click Brokerage Formulas, then click New. Brokerage Formulas greatly speed up trade entry by calculating brokerage expenses with a simple click of a button. They also allow Stock Portfolio Organizer to accurately calculate the profit or loss on an active trade by factoring in brokerage costs that would be incurred when the trade is sold. Creating a functioning brokerage formula will be covered in another video, so just enter a name for the brokerage formula, then click Save. This will create an empty brokerage formula that doesn't do anything, just so we can enter trades. As with accounts, you can make the newly created brokerage formula default so that it is automatically selected for us when entering a trade. This will speed up data entry significantly. Now that we have an account and a brokerage formula, we can now enter a trade. To enter a trade, simply select Enter Trade from the main menu. If you have the professional version of Stock Portfolio Organizer, you should see the following window. In this window, you can select the type of trade you want to enter. By default, Share should be selected, which is what we want, so click OK to continue. 
Now we should be greeted with the following share trade entry window. You will notice that the account and brokerage formula we created earlier has been selected for us. For this video, let's pretend we purchased 1000 BHP shares with an average price of $31.20 and paid $29.95 in brokerage. To enter that trade, we need to select the ticker P BHP, which can be done in one of two ways. We can simply go to the tickers drop down menu and select BHP. Or we can select the mark, the Australian Stock Exchange market first, which should narrow down the list of tickers, then select the BHP ticker. Or if the ticker we want to enter the trade for doesn't exist in our database, we can enter its symbol name into the ticker field and then press tab. For example, Once we have the ticker selected, we can enter the price of $31.50 and the quantity 1000. To enter the brokerage expense of $29.95, click New in the Expenses tab, then select the newly created expense and enter Brokerage as the name. and then enter $29.95 for the amount. If we had the brokerage formula set up, we could just click apply next to the brokerage formula and the expenses would be calculated and created for us. Now we can click save to add the trade to our portfolio. We can view the newly created trade by expanding all trade in the side panel and opening the currently open trades grid view, like so.